Hello there today. I'll be explaining the laws of indices to you. Um, so for those of you that are not subscribed to my channel, I'm saying please click on that subscription button for you to get great content like this and more. All right, so let's get to it. What is indices? Now, basically, indices is the plural of index. Index. Now, okay, so what is index? Now, index is par. Index means par or exponent. So you can be asked in maths, what is the um, the index form of a certain number? Now, for example, what is the index form of it? What is the index form of 25? What is the index form of um, 16? And so on. So let's try one of those. So it basically is two multiplied by two multiplied by two so in index form is written as two to the power of what three so this three here shows the number of times two appear so we have the first the second and the third so the three up here is called the power and two here is the base the base Again, 25 is the same thing as 5 times 5, so which is equal to what 5 in two places. So, likewise, this 2 is the, the power, and 5 here is the base. So, also we have 125, which is the same thing as what 5 times 5 times 5. And is what five to the power of what three and it goes on like that we also have what 32 which is what two times two times two times two and times two this is two times two is what four four times two is eight eight times two is 16 16 times two is 32 so this is two to the power of what five because there are how many um two here there are five of them so this is one two three four five as you can see so the five there at the top is the power and two is called the base all right so this is the index form of what 32 5 to the power of 3 is the index form of 125 also 5 to the power of 2 is the index form of 25 and likewise um, 2 to the power of what 3 is the index form of eight is the index form of eight now the laws of indices has a lot to do with numbers in index form so that's why um, i'm explaining this before we go through the laws of indices now let's do the laws of indices so i'll clean this So the first law the first law is called the addition law so there are basically four laws of indices the first one is the addition law the addition law and the addition law states that when you are given um, a number in index form like this you have a to the power of what b multiplying another a to the power of c so all you need to do is since the base are the same, since the base are the same, you just pick one of the base and add up the powers. So we have A and the power here is what B and we have a plus C. So that's all for that particular. So example, we have EG. So we can have X to the power of 4 multiplying X to the power of 3. So this is times here, this is x to the power of 4, this is x to the power of 3. So we just pick one of the x and we have 4 plus 3. And 4 plus 3 is basically like, basically 7. So our answer is x to the power of what? 7. And if you we don't want to use this particular method, we can spread what? x to the power of 4. x to the power of 4 is what? x times x times x is in 4 places. Likewise, x to the power of what? 3, which is what? x times x times x. In what three places and if you um, count the number of X you have what seven of them so you have X to the power of what seven so the second 
law is the subtraction law. Subtraction. So the first one is the addition law, and the second is the subtraction law. So in the subtraction law, this law states that when you have a um, like this, you have a to the power of b. So I'm using what we have initially. But in this case, instead of multi multiplication, we have a division. You have a to the power of c also. So if, when you have a case like this, or when you have an example like this, how do you go about it? You just pick one of what the base and subtract the power instead of what adding them. So we have a and we have b minus c. So that is all. So for example, we can have we have x to the power of four dividing x to the power of what three now this is basically we just pick one of the x and we subtract the powers so we have this four minus three and this is now what? x to the power of one which is also what of what any number to the power of one is that same number but when it has a power of what zero is equal to what one so that leads me to what the third law number three now so we have the zero law the zero law the zero law basically states when we have um, a number to the power of zero is equal to what one any number to the power of zero is what equal to what one so for example we can have um, three to the power of zero which is equal to one or also 3x to the power was zero now since 3 is not actually what zero here but x is the one with what the power zero so we have now 3 open bracket 1 because x x is to the power of zero and x which is from to the power of zero is equal to what 1 so we have 3 times 1 which is what 3 and that is the answer to that um, question so finally we have the fourth law which is called the power law the power law or the product law the power law or the product law now the power law basically states that when you have an expression in a bracket with a square like this, with a power like this an expression in the bracket with a power like this and there's a power outside the bracket you have a you have what a number in index form in a bracket and outside the bracket what there is what a power also so what do you do this power inside the bracket multiplies the one outside the bracket and we have a to the power of what b and c so that is it so for example we can have we have m to the power of 2 over 3 raised to the power of 6 and this is basically equal to we have our m to the power of 2 over what, 3 times 6 just like what I said this multiplies this and you can see it there so 2 over 3 multiplies 6 now we have this which is also equal to m to the power of what, 2 over 3 times 6 and is equal to now 2 times 6 2 times 6 is what 12 now 12 divided by 3 is what 4 so we have m to the power of what 4 as our answer so thank you guys for watching and in my next video i will be solving lots of examples so i need you to stay tuned 